Hey guys, one two three toy back again with Scott Keffer. Hey Scott, man, I'm really interested in your project. What do you call this? Uh, these are the Sedoso. It's uh, Spanish for silky. For um, silky? Yes. Uh, and, the tweeters. Why that? The tweeters. Okay. Um, these are the Dayton Audio PT2C planars, and the woofers are RS125s. Um, nice. I I really like the planars. I've always wanted to use them, mm -hmm. so I actually went ahead and bought them, and I didn't have any woofers yet. <laughs> and I heard my friend Patrick, who's a coworker with me at Parts Express, yeah. um, I heard one of his designs that used the RS125s, and I absolutely love them. So I said, why not? And, that's and so exactly this what is this is what you came up with. Now you you were telling me that you had a, a couple um, maybe issues w with the design after you got done building. Can you kind of walk me through what happened? What you think the issues were? Like, what are some of the things that people need to look out for? Um, the biggest issue with this was when I did the simulation in XM, uh, it didn't take the enclosure into account. Mm. So I just did this as like a real quick, I wanted to get it done for the show kind of deal. Sure. So after the show, I'm going to take the judges' feedback and actually go through and tweak things to where they're, I'm happy with them. But well, something you know, to look out for, yeah. I would definitely say, you know, make sure you build your enclosure first and mm -hmm. do your modeling based off the enclosure. That way it takes baffle step and other things into account. You know, one of the things that I loved about your design in particular was that you actually only use five total components, yes. right? Absolutely. It was uh, it was actually because of a show that I went to last year called NDIYANA. It's mm -hmm. every year. Um, they do a theme build. And the theme that they choose is based on a poll that they post in the Tech Talk forum on our page. And when I started looking at designing something for this show... I went and looked at the poll, and the one that was winning is called Bare Minimum, which was five crossover components oh or less. Wow. And I said, well, I wonder if I can kill two birds with one stone. Speakers for this show plus meet that requirement. And I did. And that poll, it won. So these are going to go to NDIYN as well. As well so. so what I found very interesting about your design, too, because we looked it over. It's just a first order on the woofer, right? Third order on the tweeter, but no actual L pad at all, right? Nothing. There's no no, no attenuation whatsoever on this, which, which I found fascinating because that's, I mean, most of these. What, what is the efficiency of this planer? Uh, if I remember right, they're like 94 dB one watt, <laughs> something along those lines. That's impressive. Yeah, that's yeah, impressive. So. That you do that. Believe it or not, in room, the listening I've done so far hasn't been too bad on the top end. Yeah. We'll see what everybody thinks of them. So. Before we end, if you were to give any advice to other speaker builders, what advice would you give them? Um, read as much as possible. Mm. Um, even if you're not reading, you know, the textbook stuff like, you know, loudspeaker cookbook and things like that, just do as much reading as you can, especially pay attention to the people that have been doing this a long time. Jeff Bagby, yeah, John Hollander, Paul Carmody, all those guys. They have so much information out there, and you can learn so much just from talking to them and just from reading their stuff. Or even, like, messing around with PCD, right? Je Jeff Bagby's oh, program. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or, Believe yeah. it or not, I've never even touched PCD. Oh, really? Believe it or not. That's I, but you do use XM, yeah, which is use, still a very good I use button. XM, I use DATS, I use OmniMic, I use this, you know, those things, but... Yeah, I've never, I've never touched PCD. After talking to Brian Myers today, I, I might attempt it, but... So the, the reason why I bring that up is, which is interesting, you're actually the second person so far that has talked about using both DATS and OmniMic. Do you think that those are things that every speaker builder should have? I think they're extremely useful. They, they can really do a great job in getting you to where you want to be with your design. Yeah. So. Well, I'm really impressed with your with your design. Good luck to you. Thanks again for letting us look at it, Scott. Appreciate, Appreciate it, man. It. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully you like them. <laughs>